Hello everyone, welcome back to Wicked Whiskers and as you can see, just in time for a new shave. So, starting from today, I'll be returning to my old razors and because it is Monday, why not Mule on Monday? I skipped a couple of shaves during the weekend so today I'm facing with about four days of beard growth and I'm lathering ProRasso Green although at 40 degrees centigrade it's not that refreshing but I hope it will be just as nourishing for this heavy beard growth as with my regular daily shaves. As you can see it is a little bit more difficult now to deposit everything with synthetic brush so I'll need to add up a little bit more water. And one of the reasons why I skipped the shaves was actually to respond to some portion of the audience because a lot of people will ask, well, what is the point of shaving a daily stubble or not visible beard if you are already having a YouTube channel? But truth to be told, for me, it is fairly bit easier to shave a longer beard because the whiskers are fully grown, so nothing is stuck under the skin. It is also much easier to generate the leather because there is much more friction. The longer whiskers will be much easier to soak and the shaving cream or soap. So basically, although it might look on the first glance as a difficult mission for the razor, from practicality it's actually quite easier to shave with a longer beard. So this is now pretty thick and moisturized. So I will keep the rest for the second pass if needed. The blade of choice will be Astro Green. And I will use Mule Roca, old forgotten razor of this channel, without any particular reason. I just thought that since I paid it like 69 euros back in the days I could actually use it a little bit more so let me just assemble the head and it is nice to recall that everything on this razor is perfectly designed so you cannot over tighten the screw Everything is calculated, you just tighten it through the bare limit of the blade, so, or the handle, sorry. So everything is so well designed, and the tolerances, and the build quality. And since this is the brand new blade, I will start with equal portions on both sides just to wear and tear the blade equally so this would be just enough
quite easy to rinse because the blade gap is a little bit higher. And it is very efficient. It has that familiar R89 head style in driving away blade from the skin. So it is definitely not digging like DS S9. But as with most of the German razors, it does have that consult uh, blade clamping, if you can see, because the blade is fixed at this point, so everything above is pretty left for flexing. which is quite okay for heavy beard. And because with some razors which I have, which hold the blade pretty rigidly, it uh, has some sort of struggle between blade and the whiskers when they need to cut. So with this design, it's actually helping the blade to absorb these tiny vibrations of cutting. which is definitely a great thing, but with a larger gap I find it quite prone to actually grab a little bit of my loosened skin, so... It's pretty difficult to wash it right now, so... Let's see the results on the first pass. Now I wouldn't mistake if I leave everything as is, but just because I have quite sufficient leather, I will repeat the second pass and again only across the grain because with larger blade gap, it is always easier to cut yourself compared with razors which do hold their blade rigidly and have less blade exposure, like R41, Fatips, even the Pearl razors. So, going with second pass with extra caution. So basically just a little bit of feedback, not by much. Like I said, this razor is actually driving the blade away from the skin. 
So this is the reason why there is some leftovers. And it's rinsing a little bit better now. So there is certainly some positive things about this razor's design. I'm not sure how long I will tolerate it as a daily shaver. Is my skin going to be irritated or not? Especially because when I shave with a roca, My whiskers are not growing that fast. And due to cutting angle, they are also very soft when they are growing back. So, even if I skip a day or two with Roca, The results would pretty much be the same as shaving daily with like Mercure Progress or something. So, right now, a very nice, very smooth shave, nice, clean. Oh, have some leftovers to take care of. And for everything else, I think we are done. Quick rinse and we will go back with aftershave. Also, one tricky part when testing the aftershave on such a heavy beard is that my face had really a lot of time to heal, so I'm definitely not surprised that at this moment I do not feel any tingling. I don't have any nicks or cuts, so that was pretty nice. So, in case you're looking for something to shave every 2-3 days or even more, go with Roca. I certainly will. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.